taurine has been called a game changer and a miracle amino acid. I've done some previous videos on taurine, but today I want to talk about specifically whether taurine supplements can help people who have type 2 diabetes. So some research suggests that taurine levels are lower in people who have type 2 diabetes, and that's really interesting, but it doesn't necessarily prove that taurine deficiency causes diabetes, but it is an interesting piece of the puzzle. In animal experiments, taurine appears to lower both blood sugar levels and insulin levels. So all that is terrific, but what does taurine actually do for people who have type 2 diabetes? This brings us to this paper you're looking at here, where 32 people with poor glycemic control and diabetes were given either a placebo or 3,000 milligrams of taurine each day for 15 weeks. That's about three and a half months. While taurine levels did increase in the people who were taking the taurine supplements, ironically, after this study was over, both taurine takers and placebo takers actually had higher blood sugar levels and higher hemoglobin A1C levels compared to when they started the study. I will also point out that in this paper, taurine did not lower cholesterol levels and it didn't reduce oxidative stress either, which is ironic because taurine is sometimes marketed as an antioxidant amino acid. Now our story doesn't end here. Here's another paper on taurine and diabetes. It's a much more recent investigation where 45 men and women who had type 2 diabetes were also given 3,000 milligrams of taurine or a placebo. However, I will point out that this study only lasted eight weeks, so less than the previous study. And in case you're wondering, people took 1,000 milligrams of taurine three times a day with their three largest daily meals. Now in this paper, we have a totally different outcome where taurine supplements were shown to lower fasting blood sugar levels and insulin resistance, total cholesterol went down, and bad LDL levels went down as well. However, I do want to point out in this paper that hemoglobin A1C levels did not decline in this study. However, that may be due to the length of this trial. Remember, this clinical trial only lasted eight weeks, and generally it's going to take about three months before you see a significant change in hemoglobin A1C levels. Here are some of the before and after numbers that they reveal in this study, give you an idea of how well taurine worked. Looking at these numbers, we can see that fasting blood sugar, insulin, insulin resistance, total cholesterol, and bad cholesterol all increased in those people who took placebo pills, while these values were significantly lower in those who took taurine. And we know that this was statistically significant from the numbers that you see highlighted at the end of each row. However, if we just look at the before and after numbers, before and after taurine supplementation, these values don't look dramatically different to me. For example, taurine dropped blood sugar from around 169 down to 156. It's not very much. Insulin drops from about 10.8 down to 10.2. Again, that's not very much either. I was a little bit more impressed with the total cholesterol dropping almost 10 points. However, if we look at the LDL bad cholesterol levels, these values are still considered high for people with diabetes, given that some recommendations call for lowering bad cholesterol levels to less than 70 milligrams per deciliter. So what does this all mean for you? Well, despite the hype that some people are making about taurine, I don't necessarily think we know the full story about taurine and diabetes yet. In the last study I just summarized, taurine might have a modest effect on blood sugar and insulin resistance and bad cholesterol levels, but are those values clinically meaningful for most people who have diabetes? I'm not quite sure yet, and I wanna see better studies on this, but I would say that if you're watching me right now and you do have diabetes, I would suggest you speak to your doctor and pharmacist assist for the best advice for you. If you have tried taurine for your diabetes and it worked or didn't work, absolutely leave a comment below. Let me know what happened because I'm really genuinely interested in how this might work.